Happy birthday to you. So, how does it feel? How does what feel? Being 16. You've got to feel at least a little bit different. Nope, not really. Come on. You can legally have sex now. <laughs> oh yeah, with who? Exactly. You've got to get out there. We need to find someone for you. No thanks. I think I'd much rather stay at home and watch lesbian porn at 2am by myself. You are so lonely. So is you. Oh, I'm so jealous. I wish I was 16. Don't worry, hun. Soon enough, you can have legal sex with nobody too. <laughs> oh, hey, birthday girl. Mary Helen. Babes, where have you been? <laughs> Hey, Marianne, I got this like super cool, awesome gift. Um, excuse me, it's from all of us. <laughs> Actually, I paid for it. Socks! You guys, I love it. I truly do. Well, don't blame me, Ethan picked it out. Oh, you do not want to throw me under the bus. Trust me. I have more dirt on you stop? than there is sand in the desert. Yeah, no. <laughs> really, you know what? What? What do I know? Remember when you used to have a crush on Victor? Oh please, enlighten me. Well, I would love to, he was so like, slimy. Really? You're gonna say that when you're sat next to that guy? What this fucker just say to me? Ooh. No. <laughs> Rob, you know I'd never believe anything like that. I mean, look at you. You're a very handsome man. Start running. <laughs> <laughs> to run like that. You'll get there one day, chum. Let me introduce you. This is Beth, my best friend. She's the sort of person who sits at the back of the class and doesn't say a word, yet still somehow gets top marks. I like to think of her as a sunflower. It takes a lot of care and time for her to open up, but when she does, boy does she shine. She's a ball of joy and the kindest person I've ever met. I couldn't live without her. This is Eliza. We met because I walked into the wrong after school club, but I felt too awkward to leave. She is a perfectionist. Everything in her life has to be clean and straight and pretty. I'm not gonna lie, she can be a bit of a bitch. But honestly, I think the only reason she gossips so much is because she's afraid of boring people with her own stories. She's actually super sweet once you get to know her. Rob is Eliza's boyfriend. He's not exactly new to the group, but still, I don't think anyone really knows anything about him. Maybe we would if his vocabulary spanned to more than the words chill or bro. He's truly a mystery. But Ethan seems to get along with him well. Ethan and I have been friends since we were young. He's always been very loving and will always have your back. That being said, he's a total drama queen in more ways than one. He's seen Hamilton five times in theatre and knows every single musical song. You name it. Waitress, Les Mis, Dear Evan Hansen, he knows it. He has a passion. He actually knows what he wants to do with his life and I admire him. me, Mary Allen. Not to be mistaken with DC superhero Barry Allen, who my dad named me after. I'm not him, and I'm certainly not the Flash. I'm more like the nothing, the not quite sure yet, the undecided, the work in progress, the to be continued, the no fucking clue, the unlabeled. my life. I'm showing you absolutely. I can. My mum's going to be a great actress. Um, you. Rob, don't mind. Cheer back, Kathy. How thou, my love? Why is your cheek so pale? Be like, for want of rain. Let's just say she's flying high. Mate, this is a door. Am I supposed to be a lover? Rob, you don't come in yet. I have another love. I think I've got the wrong script. Like, my guy's so cool, you know? Thank you.
Rob, this is Shakespeare. Of course it's right. You're reading it wrong. Staring at nothing. I didn't mean to. Well, you're some sort of fucking metal. I wasn't staring. Sorry. He's got me sick. We were in bed last night. I always liked the side of him, and he thought it would be a good idea. What's going on? I don't know. They just came over. Was <laughs> your maze? Yeah. It's shocking, right? We're gonna get going now. Thank you, anyway. I uh, know you're not, because we're not done with you. This is it. This is the chance where I can change who I want to be. Mm, not the best, but I'll take it. Boys, there's no need to tussle. You are such a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she still staring? What's wrong with you? Are you mentally deficient or something, or are you just asking to be chefed? Excuse me? Oh, well, do you want some too? That's when I decided. What I do now will be who I am in the future. You punched a boy in the face. I already told you, he was threatening me and my friends. He's 13, what damage could he possibly do? He was like six foot, I mean they must have held him back at you. It doesn't matter, any form of violence is completely intolerable. But I was retaliating, he threatened me. I don't want to hear it, you can tell it to your counsellor. My what? Mum! The school are giving you mandatory counselling sessions. Mandatory? For what? Your anger management issues? Oh, my anger management issues. Okay. Uh, you find this funny? You finding this funny? Really? Do you realise how serious this is, Mary Allen? You punched a child in the face. That's assault. Assault! It's illegal. And if you carry on like this, you're going to have a criminal record before you're even 18. I'm not, I'm not a criminal. I was defending myself. It was self-defense. Self-defense. Why are you being like this? This isn't you, Mary Allen. It isn't. You've never put a foot out of place before. This isn't me. You don't even know me. I'm your mother. Then act like it. How dare you. I wish you were a boy. You know, when your father asked me for a boy, we were so desperate to have a boy. I couldn't understand it. I thought it was the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. But now I actually do. Because I think if you were born with a pair of testicles, you wouldn't have this crazy urge to try and prove yourself at every given opportunity. Instead of, you know, actually appreciating life. Appreciating what I've done for you. Do you realise how difficult it is to bring you up? No wonder your father left us. You are so mean! I'm mean! Why would you say that? You're the one you challenging my ability to be a good to live mother. with. That's why you left. I didn't ask you to because be like all this, you care about is yourself. You've done me this else. to yourself. Me, me, me. How dare you? Do you realise how difficult it is for me? That's what you sound like. like. On my never listen to, to try and raise an ungrateful little bitch and still be here to love and support her. And not once have you ever shown me any kind of respect in return. I do respect you. No, you do not. You're ungrateful. I do. You're I've been rude. nothing but a permanent daughter once my entire have I heard life. You say, what Thank have you, you done? Mum. What do you mean? What have I done? I have put a roof over our head. I have fed you. I good have job clothed doing the you. bare and minimum. The only that doesn't mean you're a good fucking mother. Bedroom uh. of yours. We didn't have any banana. That's all right. I prefer strawberry anyway. I cannot believe my mum. She's never said anything that horrible before. I mean, you've never stormed out before. It's a night of new things. See, 
that is what she doesn't get. You know, I've been good my whole life. I've only ever got one detention. That's only because Miss Williams hates me. You know, I don't drink, I don't do drugs. I come home every night at nine, and yet I step one toe out of light, and all of a sudden, I'm worthy of capital punishment. <laughs> you did punch someone. Maybe that's a bit more than a toe. <sighs> yeah, but she's not angry because I punched someone. She's angry because I fought back for once. She's never once listened or cared about anything that I say. So I fought fire with fire. Then what? Then she let off mushroom cloud. Oh, would you stop with the metaphors? <laughs> Besides, that's not going to explain when you showed up to my house at 10.38 on a school night. <laughs> well, she said she wished I was a boy. What? And she, she just said that I was ungrateful, which in reality, you know, it, it's not that bad. I just had this thought that me... I'm so sorry, but are we going to keep moping on about your mother or are we going to plan a revenge? I've taught you well. I mean, hardly. <laughs> so, what's your ideas then? Uh... I don't know, I'm not the plan girl. Oh, so you can go that far, but you can't go any further. Got it. Well, if it's a boy that she wants, then it's a boy that she'll get. And how are you going to do that? Well, I don't know, I'm talking out my arse here. One part of me just wants her respect, but the other part wants to make her angry. Like, really fucking angry. <laughs> yes, yes you do. We could get everyone together. They all have assets. Well, well maybe, maybe not, not Rob. Rob. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <sighs> but we have no plan. Well, no. But every great plan starts out with no plan. Besides, you're supposed to be the positive one. Yeah, well, it's a bit hard when the plan has no plan. Well, it's a no plan plan. A no plan plan? Yes, a no plan plan. You have somewhere to stay tonight, yeah? Yeah, Eliza's mum offered. Except, I didn't go to Eliza's. I went straight home, and we both pretended as if nothing had just happened. As if my whole world hadn't just been flipped upside down. Love. Have you started setting up your study group yet for GCC? Um, no. No? Miss Williams said we'd be starting next week. Oh, okay. Right. Still seeing that other girl at uh, college? I thought you'd fallen out with her. I haven't seen her for a while, that's all. No, she's been busy. Hmm. Yeah, I've got a lot going on at home. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that why you're doing mm. your presentation? Yeah, it's very professional. It's lovely. Yeah, look at that screening room. I know. Mm. Good luck with that. Oh, thank you, hon. Is that... Is that all you're having? Well, I haven't really got time. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right, well, make sure you eat properly. You need, you need food for your brain to work. You won't pass your exams. I'll have more at lunch. Okay. I'll have more at lunch. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that toast is broken, you know. It takes forever. Yeah. Right, love. 
love, take a seat. So, Mary. Oh, it's Mary Allen. Uh, yes, but I like to be on a first name basis with my students. Mary Allen is my first name. It's right in there, actually. That's why there's a dash through it. Well, Mary Allen, um, before we begin, I, I have to ask, have you ever considered um, harming yourself physically? Um, no. Good, good. So, um, sweetheart, why do you think you're here? My teacher forced me to come here. Yeah, but why do you think you're here? Maybe because I feel like my teenage years are slipping away, and I have no idea of who I am and why I feel certain things at certain times and not others. And I wish someone would just explain it to me, but when I go to my mum it's just constant judgement. My friends tell me to see someone about it, but that's scary. Because what if they say nothing's wrong? There's no way of fixing this because that's what life is like normally. Then what's the point? Because I don't want to live like this. And I feel like I haven't experienced anything a teenager should, so why not lash out while I've got the time? Before I'm expected to know better. I got angry and I pent up and I lashed out. Yes. Yes, so I agree that's what happened. So we want to get to the bottom of this. Um, first of all, how is your flow? My flow? Yeah. Yes, your period. Uh, how heavy is it? Do you get a lot of cramps? Um, is there any times where it's later than usual? How was school today? Mm. Oh, good. Anything interesting happen? No, not really. Right, so you didn't walk out on your mandatory counselling session then? You know, the first thing that she asked me about was my flow. Mary Allen, she's there to help you. Asking me about my period is not helping me. Why are you making a scene? I'm not going to sit for half care an hour of her patronising They are mandatory counselling sessions. You just have to go. Me. You just have she to get through it like you always me. have. She's just saying what she's she told no to say. You need therapy. I mean, you're such you an attention seeker. You actually could help me, you. But you never listen to it, evidently. Can I go out tonight? I severely underestimated how long it would take to cover an entire car with sticky notes. Do you want to go see how the boys are doing? Yep. Why exactly are we doing this? I don't know. I like said something about Mary Allen, but I just wasn't interested. But then she said something about pranks, and I was all in. You know I never would have paired you two together, right? I mean, you're just so different. What exactly do you see in her? I don't know. I, uh... You know, I just look at her and I'm happy. That's actually sweet. Well, anyway, you must know how that feels with like your whole acting thing. Like, why do you love that so much? Well, I mean, you're right. I kind of just found something I liked and stuck with it. Without even considering or trying anything else. Holy shit, this looks amazing. Come on, let's go fix the shower. 
can I ask how we're doing this in my house? Because if we do this at my house, my mum won't care. But if we do this at your house and my mum gets a call about your mum of all the stuff that I've done, then she will blow her top. Might I remind you that um, I've also got a shower here, you know? And I'll be the one clearing it up. Well, you were the one who decided to do it in the first place. That's on you. Wait, where's the little one? You mean Beth? Oh yeah, her. She felt too excited. We said she could wait in the field. But isn't she like, cold? She chose not to come. That should be good to go. <laughs> hey, you finished? Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, the office is dope. I think the shower's gonna get her the best. Oh, 100%. <laughs> so, what's next? Rob? Hold up. No, Rob, that's too far, we can't. I think it's a great idea. Your mum is going to be so angry. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. When are we doing it? Oh, you're not coming. Why not? It's illegal. So what? You're doing it. No, she's right. Let them ruin their lives. We can stay here and have good careers in our future. No, I want to go. No, I'm not going to let you get in trouble for me. Stop it. I'm not the person you're making me out to be. What? You are the good one, the innocent one, the one who stays behind while the rest of us go trash Eliza's house. No, no, I'm not a child anymore. You don't need to protect me all the time. I'm sick of you looking down at me. I'm not protecting you. This is just who you are. I've changed. I haven't been that person for years. You're trying to control me. You're trying to control everything that goes on in your life because you can't control the chaos that's going on in your own fucking head! She really said that? Yep. I always knew she had a little bit of bitch in her. She's not being a bitch. She was just saying how she felt. There's nothing wrong with that. She could have said it a little bit nicer. Even if she was being bitchy, I was the one who brought it out. That's my fault. Hey, don't blame it on yourself. Yeah, but I don't want to be talking behind her back if I'm the one to blame. Yeah, but she made you feel bad by raising her voice. She could have waited until she calmed down, but no, she said it in the moment. Why are you so adamant that she is in the wrong? Because you're the one that called me crying, not her. I don't know, I suppose. Every rose has its thorns, and this one's especially beautiful. I think she is far from a rose. I think she's exactly a rose. I mean, they can be so many things, pure and beautiful on the outside, but they can be so dark and dangerous once you look a bit deeper. Anyone can see that. And that is exactly what Beth is. Not it. This is your house. <laughs> what do you want? What's your face? A shower. With makeup on? Yes. Who showers with makeup on? Me, obviously. It's highly impractical. Well, the water washes it all off. Clearly it doesn't. Yeah, but it gets the majority of it off, and then I can use the rest with wipes. Okay, you use wipes. It's really bad for your skin. Why are you here? I came to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. I don't believe anything that I said. I don't want to be apart from you, but sometimes it feels like you're always complaining about people not listening to you. And it hurts because, I don't know, you just, sometimes you don't listen to me. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's nothing. I, I'll get over it. You're, you're having a hard time and I'm sorry. That was pathetic. What? Don't apologise for me for telling the truth. I taught you better than that. <clears throat> I know I haven't been a good friend to you, and I'm willing to do better, but I need you to know that I do listen, but you're changing, and I think if I just deny it for long enough, then things won't change, because 
everything's changing so fast, and if everything changes and you change, then I might lose you, and I can't lose you. You can't ignore change, but that doesn't mean we have to change. Yeah. Hi, Eliza. Hi. Must do your makeup. 